Hey everyone, I hope all of you are doing great. So, so far in this course, we have learned how to install Prometheus server and then we have learned how to install node exporter on couple of servers. So we have couple of servers which we are calling web app and web app 2 on which we have installed node exporters and Prometheus server connects to them and gets the matrix. And then we are using Prometheus web user interface which connects to Prometheus server and then it shows us all the matrix and statistics and graph. Now what we are going to do is we are going to introduce alert manager and using alert manager we will be able to send an email. So there are a couple of things which we need to do. We need to define alert in Prometheus and then we need to make sure that Prometheus is able to read that alert and able to act on that alert. And then once that alert is generated then Prometheus is going to push that alert to alert manager and then alert manager is responsible for sending an email. So this is what the architecture of Prometheus alerting is going to look like. Now let's do a hands on and then things will be very clear. Now here you can see I have three servers IT Panther 01 is our Prometheus server and remaining two are just acting as application servers where we have installed Prometheus node exporter. And uh, this is the interface of Prometheus server which we are using. Now here I'm just going to write up and going to click on execute. And you will notice uh, in the result what we are getting is just a moment uh, you can see here in the result what we are getting is we are getting a value of one okay so what it means is uh, it is telling us that nodes are up and running okay so if let's say i want to uh, check whether all the servers are up and running in that case i can just run up and then uh, I can just click on execute and then it is going to give me a list of all the servers uh, with the value of either 1 or 0. Okay, So value of 1 means server is running, value of 0 means server is not running. Now let's see if I just want to see a failed server or a server which is not running. In that case I can just write up is equal to 0. So show me all the servers where up is equal to 0, up is having the value of 0. So I'm going to click on execute and right now you see I'm not getting any result. The reason is that all the nodes are up and running and that's why we are getting uh, no result. If I change it to up equal to 1 which means I want to see list of all the servers which are running. In that case you can see I'm getting uh, 3 results. Now we are going to use this uh, expression in our alerting rules. Now if you want to follow alerting rules Prometheus documentation then you can follow this documentation. They have given a very good example of uh, request latency in seconds but I'm not going to use this. We are just going to use uh, this example which I shown you here. So we are going to see whether the server is up and, uh, or not and then we are going to show that in alerts. Now before we move ahead let's just click here on alerts and open it in a new tab and then you can see when we open alert in the alert interface we have three uh, options okay we have inactive we have pending and firing right now we have not defined any alerts that's why you do not see anything else but once you define alerting rules in prometheus in that case you are going to see all the rules uh, which are uh, in inactive state is going to be listed here so then once the alerting rule conditions are met in that case alert is going to be changed to either pending or firing state and I'm going to show you when it is going to change to pending and firing later on. So let's move on and let's create an alert and for that I have already written a query so as I shown you expression which we are going to use is going to be up equal to zero and you see here we have a four clause and in four clause we are saying for one minute okay. So it is going to check whether the server is up or not and then if the status of server down or server value remains zero for one minute in that case it is going to create the alert and uh, so uh, first time when it finds a value of up is equal to zero in that case you will see here that uh, in the alert it is going to be showing here in pending state and once the value remains zero or server remains down for let's say more than one minute in that, that case it is going to be changing from pending to firing so that is how pending and firing works now let's go ahead let's uh, copy this and we are going to create a rule on Prometheus server. So it is going to be similar to uh, how we have done or how we have created rules for uh, rules record set. Uh, so if you have been watching my previous video it's going to be very simple for you. So let me clear the screen first and let's do ls-lrt and here you can see we have created prometheus.rules.yml file before and let me show you the content of what is written here. And this is how we defined uh, the recording rules. Okay, so 
if you see the syntax of alerting rules it is quite similar so i'm just going to create another file and i'm going to let's call it uh, alerting rules.yml and i'm going to paste everything here whatever we have copied okay so here uh, the important thing is the expression which is up is equal to zero and for one minute so if uh, server is down for one minute in that case we want alert to be received then i'm just going to save it and now we need to uh, tell prometheus that we uh, prometheus should start using this alerting uh, configuration file okay so that's uh, that means is we need to modify prometheus.yml file so i'm gonna go to prometheus.yml and now here in the rule files we are going to add another rule and which is going to be called alerting.rules.yml this is the name of our rule file okay alerting.rules.yml and now we need to restart prometheus so as of now i'm not really running prometheus as a service uh, i'm just running prometheus with the command line which i shown you in previous video so that means if we want to find out the process name or we want to stop the process name we have to kill the process so uh, in order to find the process name we can use ps hyphen ef and we can grab from and you can see this is this is how we started prometheus so which means this is the process id now i'm going to use kill hyphen nine and going to kill this process id and now we can start prometheus again by running this command i'm going to show you in a later part of this course that how we can uh, run prometheus as a service let's keep it for another video so i'm going to run it and now you can see it is saying uh, it is server is ready to receive web request now let's go to prometheus and let's just refresh it and now you can see our rule which we had created is being shown here it is being currently being shown here in inactive uh, state and server is down this is the name of the rule which we have created you can see here server is down this is the name and that's it now what we can do is uh, let's go ahead and uh, this is one of the nodes where Prometheus node exporter is running this is a uh, server IP address is 10.128.0.3 so I'm going to stop a node exporter here so I'm just stopping the services of node exporter and now we are going to run this query again up equal to 1 and here as soon as the value is refreshed we should be getting uh, let me just run up and now we, soon we should be getting value of 0 here as you can see here now this server 10.128.0.3 is showing value of 0 which, me, which means this node is now down now let's move on to alert um, alerts and here we can refresh it and we should be able to see that it is changing to pending okay so it is able to detect it and now it is gonna wait for one minute before it moves uh, this alert from pending to firing state so let's wait for one minute and then we are going to see that it is changing from pending to firing state and if you can also expand it and you are going to see all the details so here you can see that it is showing you uh, details of the this rule which we have created and also it is telling you that the instance name and you can see the IP address of the instance and you can see some other details like group name and also you can see the alert name for which it is acting so now it's been one minute and you can see alert has been changed from pending to firing state so this is the time uh, when Prometheus is going to uh, send this alert to alert manager and then alert manager is going to uh, create an email alert okay so for now uh, we have not set up alert manager and i have just shown you how alert is set up in prometheus now in next tutorial we are going to install alert manager and in that case we are going to tell prometheus that all this alert should be sent to alert manager and then alert manager is going to be taking care of creating an email so this is the first part of creating an alert see you again in the next lesson